Yes, the assist uh, le uh, lecturer, Zuha uh, Fadal Abbas, University of Babylon. Representation of linguistic landscape in Iraqi religious area, a social semiotic study. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Actually, it is pleased and honorable to be with uh, one of the participants in this, uh, in the second uh, uh, conference of, and uh, the second version of uh, Imamate Conference. And my special thanks for Professor Dr. Haider for granted us this opportunity to participate in this conference. Uh, first, I'd like to note that uh, my title has been modified into Representation of Linguistic Landscape of Imam Hussein Prayer in Arafah, a Social Semiotic Study. This study explores the linguistic interpretation of Imam Hussein Prayer in Arafah, in which it examines the complex layers of meaning through the lens of social semiotic theory. And the crucial Islamic prayer connected to Imam Hussein is the day of Arafah. It is one of the prominence a prayer of Imam Hussein, peace be upon, upon him, which has significant spiritual, cultural, and, so, and social implications. This study aims to reveal how language, meaning, and social context interact by applying social semiotics. The study organized around social semiotics elements found in the prayer, such as uh, the language selections, imagery, and symbolic illusions. These components are broken down into uh, and, uh, wants to show how they support the formation of uh, communal values, religious identity, and collective memory. The study also examines how prayer helps perceive cultural her heritage and improve social observation among generations. The results show that the use of particular vocabulary, words, metaphors, and story patterns draws attention to how a prayer expresses a sense of community and spiritual commitment. The research has uh, certain aims. One of the aim and the, the main aim of uh, the study examining the role of religious language plays in the linguistic environment of religious gathering, focusing on the Imam Hussein prayer in Arabic celebrations, and determining how religious language affects, uh, affects how the lang linguistic environment of religious occurrence in uh, its portrayal, and finally determining the visual semiotic mode inside the religious events language environment. The term linguistic landscape refers to the visibility and the prominence of written language in public and private settings as in neighborhood cities, uh, regions, variety of signs and texts, such as in row signs, uh, storefronts, advertisements, public signs, posters, and graffitis, as well as uh, badges and logos of political and religious organization, which creates a rich linguistic tapestry. The linguistic landscape of a city neighborhood is a testament to the intricate interaction and linguistic <clears throat> influence that arise from the linguistic diversity in many parts of the world. As far as our concern of the study is a social semiotic study, so it's important to note, uh, to have uh, some idea about social semiotic analysis, which is the study of actual discourse practice, how they are expressed in text as human language statements and how they are arranged along a continuum of this continuum of discourse and in various connections across different modalities. So social semiotics study has historically uh, used register, genre, text function, and text meaning to describe these interactions. It also examines how these ideas are used to, for uh, intentional communication how social and communicative limitations affect uh, those communicative modes and semiotic decisions interact, 
and how vital processes are in text production, use, and circulation. Okay. So the semiotic tools used in Imam Hussein prayer further highlight the interaction, the interaction between tradition and innovation. The prayer has its roots in scripture and historical traditions. So it is found in the past and has its uh, applying application in the present time. So it is adjust, <clears throat> adjust the current setting to ensure its applicable applicability and resonance with listeners today, nowadays. This versatility demonstrates the prayer's lasting ability to convey profound spiritual and social significance to people of various ages and cultures. The methodology used in this research, applying Chris and Van Leeuwen uh, <clears throat> model of uh, 2006, which is based on analyzing according to mode, design, information structure, social semiotics, and other elements. The, one of the sample I have analyzed for, for <clears throat> four images, I have analyzed four images that uh, has uh, the prayer of Imam Hussein in Arafah. One of them is, Allahumma ij'alni akhshaka ka'anni araak, wa as'idni bitaqwaak, wa la tashqini bimaqsiyatik. So the analysis of this sample shows the representational or experiential meaning. One of them is the processes which is used in the uh, prayer, which is the act of supplication to God using verbs just like akhshak, arak, I see you make, uh, or as edni make me happy, and so on. The participants in this prayer, is the, the, the primary participants in the prayer as the speaker, which is Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, addressing God, the image depict the, the, depicts the participants, pilgrims engaged in the act of a prayer. And the uh, circumstances in this image is the, are implied through the setting day of Arafah and religious context of prayer. The interactive or interpersonal meaning in this piece of prayer, in contact, which is the figure gazing upwards, possibility towards to, to heaven, in which they are gazing towards heaven, and in direct form of engagement with the viewer. And the social distance, the image establishes a sense of proximity among pilgrims, and the attitude, which is the angle and the positioning of the central figure to convey a sense of devotion and humility. Finally, the compositional or textual meaning, which contains the information value in which the text at, at the top of the ball and, and in, in bold black ground immediately captures attention, which indicates an importance. And the salience <clears throat> in which uh, the participants in the image are uh, uh, clothing in, in white clothing of the pilgrims and the clear blue sky are usually striking, drawing attention to the participants and the spiritual context. And the framing of the image, it is framed in such a way that it directs the viewer focus towards the central figure of the text, creating cohesive and visual message. So, the analysis has integrated, uh, combining the, the, two, uh, f the two of the framework, which is the image and the text together, convey a profound message of religious devotion and the reciprocal nature of divine human relationship, which is, tries to focus. The <clears throat> visual elements with the man engaging in a prayer at the shrine set a context of scaredness and devotion. To be concluded with, so, in social semiotic analysis with those pieces of a prayer, this study has explored the complex levels of meaning that the prayer's language and symbols communicate, emphasizing the religious and societal relevance. And by implying social semiotic theory, we have decoded how these language components communicate power, 
identity within the prayer setting. The examination showed that Imam Hussein prayer linguistic selections are not coincidental, but they are deeply rooted within the community and I mean the religious community and cultural context. Using particular words, phrases, and rhetorical devices, which highlights the prayer function in expressing shared values and beliefs. And that's all, thank you.